Hi, Achim here from Inner Space Explorers. As you can see in the same outfit, so um, it's not that we spend a week here in the same clothes, it's the same day we're doing the second video to the one that you saw last week. And um, today we're gonna talk about this, an inline shuttle valve. But before we start our little discussion, if you like my content, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you wanna discuss things a little bit more in detail, have a look at the Patreon side. Juan, yes. Um, we just had a request from one of our patrons who is with us on the safari. If we can talk a little bit about this little critter here, um, and we said, yeah, why not? Um, my first answer was, it's a no go. And then obviously somebody else like, why? And uh, now we're going to talk a little bit about it. Yeah. So the gentleman that gave me this and uh, requested the video. Um, has it on his stage regulator so for those of you uh, that's the second stage so it's screwed in here and then you have the hose coming here and this uh, can either be on or off uh, so if it's off there's no gas flow anymore and then you pull it and then uh, there's gas flow again so um, he has it there because he says when he's starting the stage the stage is pressurized but it's shut off and then over the course of the dive the uh, regulator loses a bit of gas so it's depressurized and then his first stage is getting loose and there's water getting in etc 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 and so that way he can leave it open so he's pressure on it but um, it doesn't lose the pressure via the second stage which in itself is, oops, is great um, but uh, yeah do we like this <laughs> Let's, let's just yeah, he's break it down I'm for a while. It. Let's just break it down for a while on how this works, right? You see an inlet, of course, and uh, I don't know if you guys can see it on the video, but it's completely blocked off, right? And um, there is a chamber that operates inside this plastic part here that goes on and off, right? If I split this apart, sorry, Philip, but if I split this apart like this, you see three O-rings in this segment here, and you see these holes, right? And this is essentially where, if it's in the on position, the, the air will travel through to get into the outlet portion that connects to the regulator, okay? So again, like I said, three O-rings. I wish you could see it closer. Right? I believe this is the way to show a close-up shot of that. But there are three O-rings inside, and there's not really much protecting it. Okay, So this slips on like this. This is the on position, and this is off. So it just isolates the area where the air can pass, going into the next chamber here where the air can flow through. Yeah. Right. So that's how it works. Your thoughts? Well, in my opinion, it's one of these, thank you. Um, it's one of these crutches, so to speak. Um, how do I say that politely? Um, it's, it, it, it's a bit against the concept of bring what you need. So, of course, it's another failure point because you have two mm -hmm. connections more, which I think is not the, not the big issue. Yeah. You obviously have three more failure points inside these O-rings, yes, um, so the thing can also bleed. And um, and because it's exposed to the elements, again, you have yeah. a, a very, very, you have one O-ring here, right? And um, it's pretty much exposed to, uh, you know, you have the fine particles of sand, you have, you have salt water uh, drying up, uh, especially when you leave your gear and you can't rinse it properly. And these eventually will build up, yeah. right? And they will create those tiny leaks that sometimes can be really annoying, yeah. at the very least. So I've seen these in a, in a lot of different applications, stages, rebreathers, stages yes. while scootering because people are afraid of free flow, stuff like that. So talking about the stage, generally, I mean, you close it, it's pressurized, and if you go down, I sometimes just make sure my stages are pressurized. No big deal. Um, free flow? No, because they're closed. What happens if it really gets depressurized? Nothing. Yeah. 
Ja, and even if I have, I mean, if I service them regularly, no big deal either. Um, on a rebreather, um, yeah, that actually brings up my main problem with these. Um, and I, I can already hear the reaction. People will be like, yeah, but not with me. I'm experienced and I can handle this. You will have a high task load and you need to access certain gas and you have one of these in between and you will forget about it. You yeah. simply will not be aware of this thing being in line of your gas and you need to switch to that gas and you can't breathe it and your tank's open and your SPG shows full and you can't breathe it and you'll go for something else which might be the wrong gas. Or even worse, on a rebreather, you think this is switched on and the rebreather probably doesn't answer that with, oh, I can't breathe, but you will be able to breathe, but you have no gas connected, which may be fatal. Um, I think also from an emergency standpoint, if uh, the, the divers are under stress, under yeah. duress, that can be very well looked over. Yeah, you, you donate a regulator, for example, and it has one of these. Um, you have rescue personnel that wants to, somebody that wants to come and help you and is not aware of this. I see a lot of disadvantages and a very small amount of advantages, to be honest. Yeah, same here. I mean, we're always looking for, uh, for the reasons why, as, as ISE, we're a very practical, pragmatic agency. Yes. And we think about things always about risk versus benefit. So what is the perceived benefit of you attaching this versus the risk that you might have coming in and yeah. putting that into the equation, right? Yeah. So, not much to add here. We need to discuss if we put it back on his equipment or if we just throw it out the window. <laughs> we don't want to pollute the yeah. sea, so we are very gentle and... Yeah. Uh, it's plastic. Oh yeah, yeah. So um, we'll keep the plastic part here. No, all joking aside, I mean, obviously um, everybody has to make his own hopefully educated decision and uh, yeah. we make ours and uh, we put this back on the equipment where it, uh, where it was. Uh, thank you very much uh, to the young gentleman who allowed us to use it. And uh, if you have questions, comment on that topic. Uh, if you have experience with these, good ones, bad ones, whatever, please put them in the comment section. Stay We'd safe. Love to hear about it, yeah. And we'll see you on the next video, maybe still in Egypt. Bye-bye.